In a long-awaited case, today the U.S. Supreme Court struck down Texas restrictions on abortion clinics in that state. The court said the restrictions pose an unconstitutional burden on a woman's right to get an abortion. Cronkite News reporter Megan Finnerty in our Washington bureau was outside of the courts for today's ruling. For days, both sides have been showing up to the court to argue with each other and to wait for a decision in Whole Woman's Health versus Heller Stat. That decision finally came down this morning on the Supreme Court's last day of their current term. After weeks of waiting, the sidewalk roared today when the Supreme Court handed down its decision in an abortion case out of Texas. The court decided five to three that Texas's restrictions on abortion clinics were an unconstitutional burden on women seeking an abortion. I'm really glad that the court has recognized that these restrictions are politically motivated um, and have no relationship at all to protecting women's health. But for multiple pro-life groups outside the court, they said the ruling endangers women's health. The main point of this case was not about access to abortion. It was about women's safety standards and upholding, you know, any ambulatory surgical center to the same standards of safety. And abortion facilities should not get a free pass on that. Pro-life groups said that this decision was a loss for women and their safety. Women lost today. Um, our Supreme Court justices have a duty to protect women, protect women's health, and they did not do that today. We are here today to say it's a sad day in America. Others called it a success for women. A Glendale native said fighting for reproductive care is her passion. It's important to me that I fight for access to abortion care and all other reproductive health care for all women. And since you know, it's a passion for me, I do it because I am a person of faith. I do it because I am a woman. And I'm very, very happy. But she wasn't the only one who was happy with the ruling in favor of whole women's health. A dance party of happy advocates broke out on the sidewalk. Arizona has a restriction similar to the one that was struck down today, requiring abortion cl clinic doctors to have admitting privileges into a local hospital. It was not clear what impact this ruling would have on Arizona, but both sides said they're going to keep fighting. Live in Washington, I'm Megan Finnerty, Cronkite News.